Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Chicago's Coffee House of Choice. My name is Trez Van Pugh III, and I am the founder and CEO of Sip and Saver Hospitality Group. That is the parent company of Sip and Saver Coffee Houses located throughout the Chicagoland area. Currently, we have four locations, two here in Bronzeville, one in Hyde Park, and one in the south suburbs in Matson, Illinois. Sip and Saver, along with a ton of other small businesses, are the economic engine of this economy. Let me say that again. Small businesses like mine are essential for the economy. Working capital is a must. It's almost like oxygen. We need it to breathe, and without it, we will become extinct. My company, Sip and Saver, along with others, have been fortunate enough to get the Back to Business grant. And let me just take 10 or 15 seconds to tell you how this grant helped my business. It allowed us to pay our gas, our lights, our insurance, our taxes, our payroll. It helped me with my accountant and my attorney fees. I think you get the picture. The most important thing for me is it helped me with retention of my employees. Without this grant, it was pretty sure that I would have to lay off employees. So for that, I am forever thankful to the governor and his team. I just want to say on behalf of Pat Dow, who has been supporting me, Jim Bergman, who is the uh, owner of Iceberg that helps small businesses, thank you. Thank you because we have been going through some difficult times, and this grant has helped us. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you the governor of this great state, J.B. Pritzker. Thank you very much, Trace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Trez, and uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, I appreciate your uh, patience. Uh, I want to give a special thank you to Trez. Um, and frankly, to the entire Sip and Saver family. Uh, they're not only hosting us this morning, but, but they've also done so much for Bronzeville, for Chicago, uh, in more than 15 years in business. They've made an awful lot of difference in people's lives. I, I love this place. I love Sip and Saver. Uh, some of the best coffee and treats in Chicago right here, a cool environment, and very importantly, ownership and workers that care about our communities. It's no secret that uh, during this pandemic, especially at its onset, it was extraordinarily difficult for small businesses, for particularly restaurants and cafe owners. Yet, As people in the community, people who needed you, providing free drinks for first responders, finding new ways to support your staff. And I know that you did not do it because it was easy. Uh, you did it because you care. And that's more than great business. That's great leadership. And I just want to say how much I admire you and your team for that. Sip and Saver and nearly 3,000 other small businesses across Illinois are kicking off 2022 with a boost from our Back to Business Recovery Program. To uh, Representative Lamont Robinson to my right and to Alderman Pat Dowell uh, to my left, to DCEO Acting Director Sylvia Garcia and Chicago Urban League CEO Karen Freeman Wilson, Thank you for joining me in celebrating this milestone for Illinois' small businesses and entrepreneurs. The purpose of government is to deliver for the people that we serve. And we take another step in that mission today. After the success of last year's business interruption grants, which provided $200, $290 million in relief to over 9,000 small businesses across our state, it's clear that these investments had a big impact. It is also clear that more entrepreneurs need additional relief to stabilize their businesses and to build for the future. The men and women of the General Assembly have helped do that. 
working with me to craft the Back to Business program. It's $250 million in grants to help small businesses rehire staff, cover operating costs, and afford additional customer safety precautions. These are not loans, so businesses getting help won't owe a cent back to the state. I'm very proud to announce today that um, as of today, $111 million of those grants are already out the door, reaching nearly 3,000 businesses in over 300 cities, towns, and communities across our state. Thanks to these dollars, Cavanaugh's Hilltop Bar and Grill, a family-owned restaurant in Rock Island, will be able to keep serving customers and retaining their employees. Best Western Plus in Bloomington will be able to keep its doors open on their newly renovated hotel. The Edwardsville Arts Center in Metro East can continue inspiring the creative spirit through art education and exhibitions. And Centralia's Hollywood Hair Salon and Spa will keep providing customers red carpet treatment as it completes its recovery to pre-COVID success. Most importantly, these funds are going first and foremost to businesses that are truly in need. 71% to hard hit industries, including restaurants, taverns, hotels, arts organizations, and salons. 79% has gone to businesses in disproportionately impacted areas or low income zip codes that experienced high rates of COVID-19. More than half have gone to minority owned businesses, exceeding the record setting equity focused outcomes that we saw in the 2020 Business Interruption Grant Program. And 43% has gone to businesses that had applied for but didn't receive funding from the Business Interruption Grant Program last year. The pandemic has taken its toll on so many people and businesses. But working in partnership with the General Assembly, we've provided $1.5 billion in economic relief for child care providers, local government services, and so many hard hit businesses including bars and restaurants and entertainment venues, hotels, beauty salons, laundry services, arts organizations, and so many more. Government has supported small business owners, and they deserve it. They are the lifeblood of our economy of economic growth and jobs, just like Trez said. If you want to grow your economy, invest in small businesses. Help people start them and grow them, and that's what we're doing. It's imperative that we continue to stand up for our entrepreneurs and our small businesses, and we will do that. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to our acting director of the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, Sylvia Garcia. Sylvia. Thank you, Governor. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm really happy to be back here in Bronzeville today with the Governor, Alderman Dowell, Representative uh, Lamont Robinson, and Trez Pugh. $150 million back to business recovery grant program, or as we like to call it, B2B. As the Governor mentioned, as of this week, we've been able to award more than $110 million to nearly 3,000 Illinois small businesses across the state. To us, these are not just numbers. We know behind each award is a small business owner who has continued to serve their community throughout this pandemic, even in the face of unprecedented challenges. These small businesses represent an enduring and reassuring presence in the communities they serve and play a critical role not only in our state's economy, but in, as the unique restaurants, shops, salons, and other businesses that define our communities and truly make our state great. Under Governor Pritzker's leadership, the state of Illinois designed B2B with a focus on equity and access really to make sure that we, that we share our American Rescue Plan dollars to the with the communities and industries that need it most. We want to make sure that these funds are, are really diversified across our state. In order to ensure that these funds reach the businesses that in the hardest hit areas, we've worked with more than 100 community navigators across the state of Illinois, and we've connected with small businesses with one-on-one -on -one assistance and really helped them provide any, any help that they needed, translation, application, 
uh, assistance, all of those different things. In addition to our 100, community 100 plus community navigators, the DCO team would work with our small business development centers, elected officials, and other community leaders to hold hundreds of events, including information sessions, application drives, and canvassing door to door along commercial corridors across the street. That includes right here on 47th Street back in September. To date, 20, $74 million has been awarded to businesses in areas that were disproportionately impacted by the pandemic, and more than half of the almost 3,000 awards have been gone to businesses owned by people of color. In addition to prioritizing, prioritizing these communities that were hardest hit by the pandemic, the vast majority of, of awards, more than 70%, have gone to industries that fell on hard economic times due to COVID-19. The governor gave a short list, but it's, it's all the places that we know. Restaurants, art and cultural organizations, barber shops, salons, dry cleaners, and fitness centers. The folks that have closed their doors and had to innovate, like Trez has, as we've, we've gone through this pandemic. We are truly proud to build upon the relief that was part of the business interruption grant. As the governor mentioned, $290 million there, $110 million here, so more than $400 million has gone out the door to small businesses to help them recover from their pandemic-related losses and continue to contribute to their vibrant communities. We know that there are still many businesses out there that are in need, and we're making sure that the remaining B2B funds go to those who need it most. We continue to review applications every day and are making awards on a rolling basis to get funds to businesses as soon as possible. If you're a business owner out there who's applied, and you can check on our, your status of the application at any time on our online portal by going to dco.illinois.gov and clicking on the B2B link. Um, we'll be keeping updates regularly, that's re updated in, re in real time, but we really look forward to mobilizing these funds and getting to the f them to the folks that need it most. Now is my great pleasure to introduce one of my favorite canvassing partners and a true champion for Bronzeville businesses, Representative Lamont Robinson. Thank you. Director Garcia, uh, I would like to say that the feeling is mutual and uh, thank you for coming back to Bronzeville again to make sure uh, that we support our small local businesses like Sip and Saver. And I would like uh, to also thank uh, Mr. Pugh uh, for his commitment to the Bronzeville community. And so thank you for 15 years of service. And I also like to thank uh, my partner at the city, Alderman Pat Dow, for revitalizing this corridor and also uh, supporting small businesses all across Bronzeville. Alderman Dow, thank you very much. Every single day, our governor, Governor Pritzker, is working to help small businesses recover from this pandemic. I'm proud that with the Back to Business program, we're reaching small businesses struggling the most. As a small business owner myself in Bronzeville, Bronzeville needs this, as so many communities all across the state. So again, I wanna thank Governor Pritzker, his team, Director Garcia, for again, making sure that we support our economic engines all across the entire state. I would like to welcome Governor Pritzker back up for uh, comments and questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Representative. I'm happy to take questions from members of the media. Yes, sir. These lawsuits have been working against people's health and safety. Uh, you know, he has uh, seemingly been collecting money from people grifting uh, all over the state uh, to, to file lawsuits that uh, shouldn't have been filed. You know, we should be working together, all of us, to try to get past this pandemic. Nobody wants to wear masks. I don't want to wear them. 